Mastering the point-by-point -point method in compare and contrast essays. Hello learners! Today, we're diving deep into the realm of compare and contrast essays, focusing on the point-by-point -point method. This approach is a fantastic way to clearly present similarities and differences between two subjects. Let's get started. The point-by-point -point method is one of the primary ways to structure a compare and contrast essay. Instead of discussing all the details of one subject and then the details of another, you'll be alternating between points related to each subject within the same paragraph. This method ensures that your reader can easily follow your comparisons and contrasts without getting lost in the details of just one topic. For the point-by-point -point method, it's essential to maintain clarity. Here's how to structure your body paragraphs. 1. Topic Sentence Begin with a sentence that introduces the specific point you'll be discussing. 2. Detail from Subject A Discuss the point as it relates to the first subject. 3. Detail from Subject B Discuss the same point as it relates to the second subject. 4. Comparison, Contrast. Highlight how the two details are similar or different. 5. Concluding Sentence. Summarize the comparison and contrast you've made for this point. Repeat these steps for each point you're discussing in your essay. So why choose the point-by-point -point method over other structures? Here are some benefits. Clarity. By directly juxtaposing two subjects point by point, readers can easily see the similarities and differences. Flow. This method allows for a more fluid transition between topics and keeps readers engaged. Depth. Discussing both subjects in each paragraph ensures a balanced discussion and can lead to a more in-depth analysis. And that's a wrap on the point-by-point -point method. Remember, mastering this approach can significantly enhance the clarity and depth of your compare and contrast essays. We hope this video has shed light on this method, and we encourage you to give it a try in your next essay. Happy writing!